Hi everyone, it's Jenny. Today we're gonna to talk about sun salutations with handstands. Now, these particular sun salutations are definitely a level up compared to some of the others, but all rules apply. So if you wanna to start to implement some handstand practice into your sun salutations, certainly play with the hand foundation, which we've talked about numerous times in all of my other videos, placing four corners of the palms directly flush fluid into the earth, pushing and protracting from the shoulders, getting into this idea of, we actually do wanna use a little bit of trapezius here for handstands because the arms are lifted above the head. And in order to have a nice uh, solid foundation, we do wanna engage the traps, but not to the point that you're doing all the work with your traps, okay? So in other, um, other videos that I've recorded, we've talked a lot about the serratus and we're actually gonna try to push from that area too. So we're gonna try to wrap the shoulder blades around and really strongly push from that serratus. Notice my shoulder is very high up toward my ear. It's not like this, it's not internally rotated, but it is on a little gentle external rotation and I'm really wrapping that shoulder blade around to push, push super strongly from that serratus area. So I'm using my traps a little bit. Um, you'll definitely notice when your arms are lifted versus when your arms are down, how your traps are like, ooh, I've actually done a little bit of work. So we'll play with it. Come on over to the top edge of your mat. Solid foundation as per usual. Hug your core inward, squeeze your thighs. Really important for handstand play. Here we go. Inhale the arms to the sky, look up. And exhale, take a fold forward. On inhale, let's look forward and lift the chest up. And as we exhale, fold, let's take the hands to the floor. And listen, we're gonna pick up the left leg nice and tall and just practice bending into the standing leg, shift the body weight forward into the hands, and we're gonna hop back to your plank. So here we go, hop up and back to your plank pose. So I was trying for chaturanga even though I really said plank. So let's inhale, lean forward, exhale, lower down, upward dog, inhale, and downward dog, exhale, okay? So just kind of moving through the cycles pretty quickly. Now in order to take handstands on the way forward, you can practice kind of a pike up, you can practice a tuck up, you can practice one leg at a time up. Let's practice one leg at a time up just so you can see that, okay? So I'm gonna look forward. My dominant leg is my right leg, so I'm gonna pick up my left leg, kind of three-legged dog style. I'm gonna bend into my right leg, and I'm gonna launch up into a handstand and try to land carefully at the front edge of my mat. So here we go, bending, lifting up, and it didn't work out so well, but that's okay. That's the idea. Good, so inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Come back up, inhale, arms can rise. And exhale, samasiti he. We'll go again, try the other leg this time. Inhale, the arms high. And exhale, fold. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, fold. This cycle, right leg lifts, and we'll try to kick it up and land in your plank. Okay, if you land in chaturanga, that's fine. It's kind of my default, but we're gonna try to land in plank. So here we go. Bend standing knee, inhale up, and exhale to your plank. Good, inhale, lean forward. Exhale, lowering down. Upward dog, inhale. Downward dog, exhale. Good, so once again, we're gonna try to hop forward to the top edge of your mat with one leg lifted, okay? So I'm gonna pick up this cycle, my, let's see, my right leg, even though I'm right leg dominant, I'm gonna try to kick up with my left leg and my right leg is lifted, so it should be kind of interesting. But the idea here is just to really gain confidence and shifting your body weight more into your hands. So here we go, look forward, push from your serratus, bend into your standing knee, and inhale, hop up, woo, and exhale, land. So those things might happen. Inhale, halfway lift, exhale, fold. Inhale, come all the way up, arms can rise and exhale to samasitihi. So let's play with it again. Inhale the arm back up, and exhale, fold forward. Inhale, lift halfway, exhale, fold, take the left leg high, practice hopping up, and hopping back, and lower down. Upward dog, inhale, downward dog, exhale. Good, I'm gonna take my left leg high, and practice hopping up into a handstand before landing at the front of the mat. Bending into my standing leg. Inhale, hop up, and exhale, step down. Inhale, halfway lift, exhale, fold. Inhale, come on up, arms high, and exhale to samasitihi. And again, inhale, lift the arms, exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway up, exhale, fold. This time, 
time right leg lifts, right leg will lead. Let's hop on up and step or hop back to your plank and lower down, upward dog, inhale, exhale, downward dog. Now I'm sure you can imagine the less dominant leg is a little bit more challenging, but it is important that we practice with the less dominant leg just as much, if not a little bit more so than the more dominant leg, just so we can really balance it all out. So here we go, turning gaze forward, picking up your right leg. We'll try that um, kick up once again. If you cartwheel out of it, you cartwheel out of it. I'm gonna post a video on cartwheels, so make sure you watch that. Bending into standing knee, look forward. Inhale, come up and exhale, land. Inhale, halfway up, exhale, fold. Inhale, come all the way up, arms high. And exhale to Samasitihi. Good. So that's a fun way to just kind of continue to play with the idea of shifting weight into your arms, shifting weight into your hands, and really protracting from that area underneath your shoulder blades to find more of a handstand in that process. So thanks everyone so much for watching. Namaste.